Those of you who watched my recent video on IPFS's peer-to-peer content distribution model heard me talk about how the early internet was largely designed around distributed resources. No one server or routing device was critically important because there would always be more than one way to get a task done. If one fails, another one will pick up the slack. You would also have heard me mention how unhealthy and dangerous it can be when any kind of shared infrastructure, whether it's proprietary digital services, last-mile internet service providers, or even monoculture social media platforms, become overly centralized. Well, I've got two things to add. One, I sent that video to my curriculum manager at Pluralsight to see if they'd be interested in a full course on IPFS. They were, and it happened. The course just came online. And the second and more important thing is that decentralization is a quality that we should actively look to incorporate into the way we build our own workloads. And for a very practical reason. Because if the health of your organization is completely dependent on one particular supplier or third-party software application, or even a particular employee, then you'll always be at risk of being held ransom. That supplier will have the power to, without notice, make crippling demands on your operation. It's always been this way. Years ago, my father told me about the way a particular retail giant would allow manufacturers to sell their products in their stores, but after a few months, they demand the manufacturer retool their production process to better fit the retailer's needs. But once the manufacturer had customized their entire operation around this one retailer, at which point they were fully committed to this one retail outlet, the retailer suddenly dropped their purchase price. The manufacturer was now stuck with a microscopic profit margin and no alternatives. So if there's a critical piece of your digital operations that completely relies on a single provider, perhaps it's time to rethink your approach. This might be your cloud infrastructure stack. Amazon Web Services is, for excellent reasons, very attractive. They provide a reliable, secure, and relatively intuitive set of services. And more creative services keep coming. But suppose their platform should one day go down, taking your applications down with it. That may sound crazy, but much crazier things have happened in the IT world. Or, and this one's more likely, suppose the company suddenly told you that your organization didn't fit their social vision. Yours would not be the first company to completely disappear. And finding an alternative cloud host and then rebuilding your complex application stack to fit it won't be easy. In fact, it's often impossible. AWS is just one of many examples. How would you manage if you suddenly found yourself permanently locked out of your Google account? Take a few minutes to think about all the services you use that depend on that. There's no complete solution to the vendor lock-in problem. But using tools like Terraform to build cloud-neutral stacks is one approach. And moving your organization's collaboration, project management, and communication platform to a self-hosted instance of NextCloud is another. And serving your content through IPFS is a third. But the first step is awareness. Any thoughts to add?